Hello and welcome to Disciplines and Ideas in the Applied Social Sciences. I am Armin Rose and I will be your guide as we go through the concepts of this course. This is Part 7, The Social Work Helping Process. The Clientele and Audience of Social Work Individuals, families, groups, and communities who experience being marginalized, receive social injustice, or have their rights violated or disrespected are the main clients of social work. Also, all of those deserving of social welfare benefits. Being a minority, a migrant, a single parent, a senior citizen, a person with disability, a neglected or abused child, a person having conditions to warrant acceptance into a care facility, the unemployed, or suffering discrimination of any kind, characterize one as clientele or audience of social work. The needs of a clientele. Needs are generally that of wanting to be empowered, to be socially included by way of ensuring that they receive what is legally due them, and that they receive the necessary care or help that they deserve. Some people need their rights respected, some need justice, and others need welfare to help put them on their feet. Individuals, groups, and clients also have needs that are exclusive to their context. The social work settings. The government setting is the largest setting where social workers can be found. There are over 8,000 social work positions in the federal government. They can be found working in these positions. Agencies serving children and families such as foster care agencies, healthcare settings including community-based clinics and hospitals, schools, federal, state, and local correctional facilities, nursing homes, and agencies serving military veterans and active duty military personnel. Most of the social workers can be found under the Department of Social Welfare and Development. They are focused on providing social welfare and organizing social development programs like the National Household Targeting System for Poverty Reduction or NHTSPR, the Pantawid Pamilyang Pilipino Program or the Four Ps, and the Kapit Bisig Laban sa Kahirapan comprehensive and integrated delivery of social services or kalahi SIDS. In the private sector, social workers can be found in the employee assistance program, labor union social services, human resource management services, community relations offices, and organizational development initiatives. In civil society, Social workers can be found providing social services delivery to concerned sectors like the youth, women, children migrants, workers, LGBT, elderly, veterans, etc. of universal basic needs that may range from physical needs, intellectual development, emotional development, social growth, and spiritual growth. The delivery of motivational needs such as physiological necessities security, belongingness, esteem needs, and self-actualization, and the delivery of biological, psychological, interpersonal, social, and cultural needs. In the school setting, the social worker is a liaison between the school and the student's families, essentially bridging the children's personal lives and education to ensure that students' needs are being met. The responsibilities crisscross with the guidance counselor. Other related school issues include formulation and implementation of behavior intervention programs, truancy prevention programs, sexual education programs, health education programs, crisis intervention, and disaster prevention and management programs. In the community setting, the social work primarily calls for a generalist social work practitioner who possesses a broad range of training and employs skills to guide and coordinate services for the clientele. The community setting orients social work to a generalist framework that divides social work into micro practice and macro practice. Services, processes, and methods of social work are the same 
as those of guidance and counseling, needs assessment, intervention and program design, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation. These are already discussed in the previous lesson. The ideas presented in this lesson are based on the content standards of the Department of Education and the book Disciplines and Ideas in the Applied Social Sciences by E. M. Sampa, published by Rex Publishing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.